handicap betting. I've had seasoned mathematicians ask me explain to them what the hell this is all about. They see plus 0.5, plus 2.5, plus 2.75, plus 1.25. Look, frankly speaking, me myself, I'm not sure I get it entirely, but I'm going to do my best to break it down for you. Now, handicap betting is basically in the name giving a team a positive or negative handicap. Simple, right? A match starts and you give a team one goal handicap or you give a team a negative goal handicap. So basically a team has to score a certain number of goals in order to win the handicap or basically hold a certain number of goals to not lose the handicap. It's like giving a car a head start in a race. You give them a 100 meter head start. If they don't lose the 100 meters, it means they win the race. And if the car behind them ends up making up the 100 meters and then adding some, they win the race, right? Now in this case, instead of meters, we lose goals. Yeah, sounds simple enough, right? So where does all the confusion come from? We get into the hard stuff now. We have different kinds of handicap betting. We have negative handicaps where you back the team to win, negative handicaps where you back them to lose, and negative handicaps where you back the draw, and vice versa for positive handicaps. And throw in 0.5 handicaps and 0.75 handicaps into the mix. And we have a whole pot of confusion staring up right now. So let's see how we can break it down. Let's start with the basics let's start with straight up handicaps single figure goal handicaps no decimals no percentages just one goal two goals now for every handicap bet we have three options home away and draw now what does this mean now let's take a typical match let's take Manchester City versus Burnley clash of the titans so let's play devil's advocate and say Manchester City will win this match Let's go ahead and give Manchester City a negative goal handicap. Meaning by giving two goals to Burnley to start the match off with. Now by giving them those two goals, we can effectively decide how we think the match will turn out with the home away or the draw. Now with the two goals to Burnley, if we think the match ends as a Manchester City win, we give Manchester City home selection. And that means essentially we think Manchester City will end up winning the match by three goals or more in real time. Now what this does is that it gives exponentially better odds for a Manchester City win, where a match of this nature will probably end up being like a one point one with a selection like this we can get like 1.5 1.6 even 1.8 times 2 but it's a very specific bet it means we think Manchester City will score three goals and win or more and you know what this means right Monday, Monday, Monday. now you can go the opposite route I can give two goals to Burnley and back their way results and what this means is that you think Manchester City will not win by more than one goal if they win. Now what this does is that, it, is that it covers your bases. Essentially, you are not confident enough in Burnley to go straight for the win or draw for them. But you don't think they will lose by a huge margin. Now a selection of this type will probably be good odds. Not as good as going for a straight Burnley win or draw. But good enough that you can confidently back it and still make some good money off it. What happens if you go for the draw? Now this is one of the most specific types of bets. It means that you essentially are predicting the score of the match. You are giving Burnley a positive two goal margin or you are giving Manchester City a negative two goal margin and you are predicting the match will end in a draw. Which means basically you think the match will end in a 2 three. You might as well go for a correct score prediction. You will fetch oodles of money and normally these bets have wild odds i mean look it's a very specific selection so do with it what you will i'm not saying do go for it but a sensible betting man will stay very clear of the draw now things get really spicy when you throw in what most betting sites call the asian handicap bets now in an asian handicap bet you get selections of either positive goals or negative goals for either side so for man city versus burnley you can have man city minus 0 0.5 minus 1 minus 1 1.5 minus 2 minus 2.5 plus 0 0.5 plus 1.5 plus 2 plus 2.5 plus 3 and so on and so forth now which of these selections will have variable odds and really it's a straight goal handicap so for example if we go for minus 1.5 for a man city side now basically it means we think they'll win by more than 1.5 goals this eliminates the potential of a draw happening or does it yeah it does the draws only really matter in asian handicaps when you go for four goal bets now if you go for a minus 1.5 handicap let's say for example plus or minus you know that teams don't play matches and win by plus 1.5 goals they win by four goals right so if you go for a plus 1.5 for bendy and the match ends one it means bendy won the match 1.5 one makes sense yes now in asian handicap betting we can still go for the full number goals 
plus one minus one plus two minus two what happens is that if the match ends up as a draw meaning for example if you go for man city minus two and man city ends up winning a match two nil essentially the scores end up being two two and what that happens is that you get a stick back no sweats it's usually a very safe way of playing it it's like a draw no bet type of selection where really you are trying to eliminate the potential of losing your money by a certain amount so now you know minus 1.5 you know minus one you know plus one you know plus two you know plus 2.5 and you know two goals one goal no goals and home are we or draw now here's the real kicker we have 0.75 and 0.25 bits these are the most complicated types of handicap bets. i don't know why they still do them in some instances it mitigates losses for both the bookies and the consumers however it's a little too complicated for the average mind for the less than average mind you might as well be learning rocket science some betting companies still do it a lot of the popular ones have really scrapped this and now they just go for the streets handicaps or they go for the asian handicaps but i'll still explain the 0.75s and the 0.25s just so that you get a, a good gist in case you have a chance upon it you're on a deserted island somewhere and you have to bet for some reason and they're only offering 0.75 or 0.25 bets but let's give it a crack okay all right so 0.25 bets and 0.75 bets differ from the other selections in the case where you can potentially earn a portion of your stake back and on the other hand you can only win a percentage of your winnings as well depending on how the match goes um a lot of gibberish a lot of words so let's use the numbers let's use an example man city versus Burnley. back at this match again so let's think about a bet where we give manchester city a handicap of minus 0.25 in a match to start with if the match ends up being 1-0 to Manchester City, 2-0 to Manchester City, uh, you really have no problems. You won straight up that 1 goal to 0.25, 2 goals to 0.25, you win your money. Now, where this really comes into play is if the match ends up 0-0. Essentially, what that means is you lose the match or you quote-unquote lose the match 0, 0 0.25. Now, instead of being a straight loss, like how a 0.5 would be in that situation what happens is that the bookies will end up giving you half your stake back yes half your stake you don't lose all your money sounds good right <coughs> wrong i mean it's good for that instance but for the reverse when you end up going for plus 0 0.25 to Burnley and the match ends 0 0 think you won right think you get your money Hell no, no. What happens is that sporty bets or bet we or bet fair or any of those rat bastards end up giving you half your winnings. So essentially, if you stake hundred dollars on odds of that nature of let's say times two, instead of getting two hundred, hundred dollars your stake plus hundred dollars your winnings. What happens is that you get your stake back fully and you get fifty dollars as your winnings. Kind of sucks in my opinion. Might as well go for the straight win. What's the point in getting half your stake back or losing half your stake? So same applies for. 0.75 if the match ends up 0, 0 on either side you either win all your money or lose all your money because it's not close enough where you win or lose your stake you only win half your stake and win half your winnings back if it's one goal in the match meaning 0 0.75 1 or 1 0 0.75 so if you go plus 0 0.75 to Burnley as your selection for example and then Man City end up winning the match 1-0 then it means technically you've lost the match 1 to 0 0.75 and you lose the bets essentially but you don't lose fully what do you get half your stake back <laughs> Now if you end up betting minus 0.75 to Manchester City and you end up winning 1-0, it means what? It means you get half your winnings back. Yay! And so on and so forth. So plus 1.25, we're looking at either losing by one or winning by one. And plus 1.75, winning by two or losing by two. And so on and so forth. You get the gist, right? Now if you learned something from this video today and you like this kind of content, consider liking the video, leaving a thumbs up. And if you want to win your bets this weekend, you've got to subscribe now, like right now. Cause you know what they say, right? If you don't bet your fight bets, you get bad luck. Ooh. No, seriously, subscribe. More content coming up, more tutorials on different types of betting strategies and betting tips. We do match selections and match predictions every week. It's fun over here. Stick around. And if you have any questions on handicap betting, let me know in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer it as best I can. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.